Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the RLC parallel circuit. In the previous video, we have seen RLC series circuit where we have calculated the roots of that circuit and we have also seen when it is when the circuit becomes under damped and when it is over damped and when it is critically damped. These are the three possible conditions for any RLC circuit, whether it is parallel or series. Here also in the case of RLC parallel circuit, we are going to derive the expression for the roots like S1 and S2 as we are having two roots and S1 and S2 depending on the roots we are going to say whether it is under damped, over damped or critically damped with different conditions. So this is the RLC parallel circuit where the resistance, inductance and capacitance these three are in parallel with each other. And this is the applied voltage across these three parallel components and this is the current flowing through this. Whenever this particular circuit is converted into its Laplace domain then we know it becomes V of S let it be V not V I of S and it becomes I of S R will not change R is constant in any domain and L is frequency dependent so L is converted into 1 sorry L S and C converted into 1 by C S ok across these three we are taking the output this is the output V naught of S ok so this is the RLC parallel circuit for which you are going to do the analysis and this circuit can also be drawn in another way like series resistance resistance is in series Whereas the tank circuit which is made up of inductor followed by capacitor these two are connected in parallel. The same circuit can also be drawn in this way. Okay, RLC parallel circuit is also to be drawn in this way. Okay, it is also coming under RLC parallel circuit. This is the place where we are applying the input voltage. And this is the place where we are taking the output and this is the current flowing through this one. Okay. Now let us try to calculate the roots of this equation of this uh, circuit. First let me write the input voltage V i of S. Okay. So please understand that I have converted the circuit into Laplace transformer domain. There I have applied the loop equation. So for that purpose, I am just taking V i of S, L S and 1 by C S, 1 by C S. Now the current becomes I of S. Now apply this KVL equation, V i of S is equal to the current flowing through the resistance is I of S. So R into I of S plus coming to this parallel combination. L and C, these two components are parallel to each other. So, we can write like parallel connection. So, L S into 1 by C S divided by L S plus 1 by C S overall into I of S. The current flowing through this parallel network is also I of S. So, take I of S common R plus, now see here, LS multiplied by 1 by CS, yes, yes gets cancelled. Now in the numerator we are having L by C divided by LS plus 1 by CS, take LCM so that LC and S becomes S square, LC S square plus 1 and in the denominator again we are having CS, so that CS after going into the numerator into CS that is equal to I of S into now C, C gets cancelled and we will be having R plus L S divided by 1 plus L C S square. Okay, this is what the input voltage equation V I of S. Now, what is the output voltage? See, whenever we are going to calculate the roots of a, this particular RLC circuit, first we need to able to write the transfer function. Okay, that transfer function can be obtained by taking the 
input voltage and later take the output voltage equation and output voltage so how to write the output voltage v naught of s is equal to the current flowing through this output network which is a parallel combination of l and c is also i of s into parallel combination ls into 1 by cs divided by ls plus 1 by cs that is equal to so this parallel combination simplification is already done here so the same we can take here i of s into ls divided by 1 plus lc s square now what we need here i of s i of s just replace i of s with this equation what we can write i of s from this equation so i of s is equal to i of s is equal to v naught of s divided by c v naught of s divided by this one ls divided by 1 plus lc s square okay now substitute this particular i of s value in this equation v i of s so v i of s is equal to therefore v i of s is equal to v naught of s again we can also simplify this take this into numerator 1 plus lc s square divided by ls into what we have r plus ls by this one r plus ls by 1 plus lc s square that is equal to so take lcm on this factor also so r, v naught of s 1 plus lc s square divided by ls into r plus r lc s square plus ls divided by 1 plus lc s square now this 1 plus ls 1 plus lc s square and this 1 plus lc s square these two gets cancelled and we will be having take uh, what we have here take rlc as common rlc which is a coefficient of s square so s square plus so the coefficient of s is l 1 by rc s square plus and here it is r so 1 by lc now what is the transfer function v naught of s by v i of s so write the same transfer function transfer function v naught of s divided by v i of s is equal to v naught of s divided by v of s v of s will come onto the right hand side and remaining factors will go on to the left hand side and remember one thing ll gets cancelled so what we have 1 by rc 1 by rc into s by s square plus s square plus 1 by rc uh, this is s 1 by rc s 1 by rc s plus 1 by lc this is what we have obtained after taking the transfer function okay now in order to calculate the roots of this equation make this equation is equal to 0 so the to calculate to calculate the roots s square plus 1 by rc s plus 1 by lc that is equal to 0 so that we know minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so apply the same formula here then we will be having s1 s2 as we are having two roots s a square is there so there will be definitely two roots so minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so minus b what is the b here it is 1 by rc so minus 1 by rc plus or minus okay square root of b square 1 by rc whole square minus 4a 
C is nothing but 4 by LC by 2 into A is 1, 2 into 1. Then that is equal to minus 1 by C. Take this 2 into the each factor of this uh, numerator. So, 2 it becomes 2 by 2 RC plus or minus square root of when 2 goes into this root and it becomes 4 and after again going into the square then 1 by 2 RC square minus 4, 4 gets cancelled and 1 by LC. These are the roots we have obtained for the for, uh, for the equation as a square plus 1 by RCS plus 1 by LC is equal to 0. Okay. Now we know what we have to do take this first factor in the root and take this second factor if what happens if 1 by 2 RC is greater than 1 by LC 1 by 2 RC is equal to 1 by LC and 1 by 2 RC is less than 1 by LC. So, first case if 1 by 2 RC is greater than 1 by 2 RC square is greater than 1 by LC. 1 by LC. So, if you simplify this, it becomes R is less than because these two are in the denominator. So, R comes onto the right hand side and LC comes onto the left hand side. So, R is less than 1 by 2 root L by C. R becomes less than 1 by 2 root L by C. So, what is the condition if this is like this? What is the uh, oscillations if it is like this? We have already studied in the case of RLC series circuit that is over damped oscillations. Over damped. Okay, then the circuit is then the circuit is over damped. Similarly, case 2 if 1 by 2 RC whole square is equal to 1 by LC that leads to R is equal to 1 by 2 root L by C. Then circuit is what happens critically damped, critically damped and again third case if 1 by 2 RC is greater than less than 1 by LC again that leads to R greater than 1 by 2 root L by C then the circuit is what is that Un under damped then the circuit is under damped ok. So, these are the three possible conditions for this RLC parallel circuit. The same cases we have also studied in the case of uh, RLC series circuit, but you, if you observe the critically damped oscillations is occurred here R, R is equal to 1 by 2 root L by C there and here also same, but here R less than 1 by 2 root L by C this condition is for over damped in the case of parallel, but there in the case of series it will be for under damped. Okay, these two first and third cases becomes uh, altered that is because of this uh, denominator numerator factors. Okay, this is about RLC parallel circuit. Thank you.